I said we're fighting for justice. A lot of people have been praying for this moment where our community will come together and stand up for what we believe in. I don't know about y'all, but I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of police brutality. I'm tired. I'm tired of the disparities that we face. I'm tired of our brothers and sisters being on lockdown in that criminal justice system. And many of them don't even belong there. Huh? Huh? I'm tired of high unemployment rates, double digit unemployment rates in our community, right here on the north side of Minneapolis. It don't make no sense. I'm tired of empty promises by politicians. Stop knocking on our doors unless you're gonna deliver. Unless you're gonna deliver. Unless you're gonna deliver. Huh? I hope there's some people in this audience that will decide to run in the next election. Because we need some new leadership in the city of Minneapolis. I said we need some new leadership in the city of Minneapolis. We're tired. We're tired. But the Minneapolis branch of the NAACP is back. And we're standing in solidarity with the people, y'all. We're going to keep speaking truth to power. Yes, you're welcome, sister. You're welcome. We're here because we love y'all. This is our community. This is our community. Jamar Clark was a part of our community. Well, he should be having Thanksgiving dinner on Thursday with his family. That's what he should be doing. We're tired of this. We're not going to tolerate this. And we want the powers that be to understand that we value every life in our community. Every life in our community. We value the young black men in our community. They should be able to walk down the street without being harassed in our community. We're not going to take it no more. So we're not going to take it no more. 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 All right. I want to thank everybody who was responsible for putting this program together. There's one person, though, Ms. Raisha Williams, who is the Director of Communications and Events for the Minneapolis NAACP, who spearheaded this entire event, y'all. Let's give her a hand. She's the true North Sider. Say North Side. North Side. So she was responsible. I want to thank everybody else who's been a part of this, putting this on all of our musicians, y'all, who donated their time to give us this amazing music tonight. Let's give them a round of applause. Even our musicians, like, we ain't scared. We ain't scared. We ain't never scared. No. So we got two brothers here tonight who are related to Jamar Clark. They've been out here, y'all, on the front lines ever since last week. Sometimes I'm here at 1 a.m., and guess what they hear? They hear hanging out 1 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes 7 a.m., 6 a.m., it doesn't matter. They're here because they know that a life of their family member was taken. So I want to just introduce them to the crowd. I want you guys to say your names. I want you to say why you're here and, and whether, why you're here tonight supporting this event. And what is your relationship to Jamar Clark? Uh, I'm his cousin. My name is Chris. I just want to thank all y'all for coming out here, being out here. We're here, yeah. We're here for you. We're here, bro. And I'm just out here for one thing only, and my cousin. That's, that's right. Thank you, Chris. We love you, man. We love you. All right, Jermaine, brother Jermaine. I'm Jermaine. I'm his big brother. I'm here for justice to make sure the police end up going to jail or get prosecuted for what they did. Justice. And on top of that, as the saying go, if Jamar don't get it, let it burn. No, it's if it's if Jamar don't get it, shut, shut it, it down. down. Shut it down. If Jamar don't get it, 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 shut it down. All right, thank y'all. Y'all see how the media try to act like the family ain't supporting us? Then why they here? Why have we seen Jamar's dad out here day in and day night? Day in and night. 
Don't always believe media reports. That's why I call out the media. That's why I fight back if they got false narratives. I'm like, uh, oh, then they call me for interviews. Uh-uh. If you ain't gonna speak the truth, don't call me. Don't call me. Because I'm standing for my people. I'm tired of these false stories being told about us. But I want to get us back to the concert, y'all, because we got some more good music lined up. I just wanted to say thank y'all. I love y'all. Keep fighting. Keep standing for justice. We're going to be here every step of the way. And the Minneapolis NAACP means business. Bless y'all.